very spooky. Let's just take a quick meander. I don't have a light source anymore. Oh, that that's what the key's for. Oh my god. Well, hello there, beautiful. I bet that is he. Oh, that's so creepy. Little blood mark towards ya. Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray! This one's called House of Number 76. For the PC, of course, this is the demo. I do have the full game I downloaded separately, so unless it's utter trash, I will be playing that at some point. But down below in the description is a link to this game if you want to check it out. And uh, it's free to play, even the full version is. So that's kind of cool. And it looks like it's made in Unity's Horror FPS kit which I'm actually a fan of. That's where I learned how to do a little game development myself when I was fiddling around. According to the website, the only story, it's very vague. A family got murdered and you're here to investigate. That's pretty much it. I don't remember if it was like the Wilson family or something like that, but some family got murdered. Typical indie horror game. Hey, I can't judge it. Could I do any better? Anyways, before we begin, let's bring in the main host himself, Satan, the Dark One. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It's your friendly... <laughs> I don't know why I even attempt to say that. I'm not your friendly neighborhood devil. I am pure evil. You always know how to make an entrance. I can do what I... Shut up, Balamore. Freaking meat puppet. I do what I want, boy. You excited to play this? Yeah, actually, uh... I got some high hopes. Spooky music. Spooky house. I smell a little... <laughs> innocent Christian blood of Balamore spilling all over the floor. Maybe. I hope so. I hope there's some demons. It's supposed to be weird, so I always like the weird ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got my bucket of popcorn. Extra innocent Christian blood sprinkled all over it. <laughs> so good. And nutritious for you. Was that vitamin? What what, what kind of vitamins uh, have iron? High amounts of iron in them. I used to take iron pills when I was a little kid. Now just have some innocent Christian blood that'll spike your iron levels. You're disgusting. Oh, don't knock it till you try it, Balamore. Say, you say you're a Christian. I am a Christian. Well, why don't you have a little of this popcorn? A Christian eating Christian blood? <laughs> Now that's sinful. I'm gonna pretend you didn't- That's like heresy. Oh, it makes it even sweeter. Man, you are really messed up. Are you ready to play this? Are you ready to go to the pits of hell? Of course I'm ready to play this. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's do this. Ooh, spooky music. I have it cranked on my end. Hopefully I don't regret this. And, uh, had a mess with the mouse settings. It's super sensitive. I have it almost down all the way, and my mouse is like super fast. Oh, this is spooky. So we gotta investigate a murder of a family. A little camera, where is that camera? No, it's definitely not here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, this looks like the horror. Oopsies. It looks like the horror FPS kit. Yeah, everything's like interactable. I like this. I'll leave that on. Just a little background noise. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can have a little inventory, it gives you your objectives. I'm not going to bother with my blindness. I don't know if I said that in the beginning. I am blind. I've got no center vision, just my peripheral vision. So if there's like, this isn't quick text that just goes away. I could, you know, edit this out and read that. But I'm going to solve this by logic because we're just investigating. Maybe it's saying like, find a way to open this door. I like using my mind. And we just go through here. 
Oh man, look at that. That looks very dark. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, cool. Okay, we're looping. Mm. Do we have to loop 76 times? Now, did we see a door there before and now it's a dark pit? I want to think there was a door there before. Now with the horror FPS kit, there are two crouch modes. If you guys never played these before, because there's a lot of indie games that use this kit. So uh, your control key does this, but your C key goes prone. So some of these games have vents in them and you can only go through it when you're prone where crouch won't actually work. Because I was stuck on a game once. I was like, wait a minute, can you go prone? And then sure enough, it worked. Oh, we got a note. We'll turn that on. Okay, so this talks about the family being killed. No one's figured it out who it was. And this was in California at the end of October. Ooh. So mysterious circumstances. Killer has yet to be discovered. Yep, same kind of... What was that? something go through me? Ooh, maybe it was a ghost. I think one of these times there's going to be a key or something in the... In the drawer. I like the candles, though. <laughs> Back through again. I like this. Oh, that's extra creepy. So apparently in the Wilson's case, there was only one piece of evidence ever found, and that was writing behind wallpaper saying darkness awaits its sacrifice. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder what that means. And uh, there was mold, black mold all over the house. That's creepy. Okay, that looks the same. So maybe there was never a door there, and my mind's just telling me there was... Okay, their drawers are still empty. I like this though. You know, that's one thing in horror games that will scare me. Footsteps running real close to you. That kind of spooked me out. I feel safer with the, uh, the radio. see anything yet. Is this going to open? Oh, there is something I'm missing. Okay. I don't see a key. Oh, there is a key here. I didn't see that. Is that a banana? I think it's food. I know this is a demo, but they didn't program a key icon. Oh my God. That's funny. Even the text, like I noticed it's the same event when you click this door. I wonder if we can get in here. Will the banana work? <laughs> the banana doesn't work. Oh, is it this door? What? Oh, it's gotta be the exit door. I was like, wait a minute. What does this key go to? <laughs> the banana unlocked it. All right. Hopefully they fix this in the full game. Oh, okay. That gave me cold chills because I got that volume super loud. Blue. I don't know what that was. I think that looks the same. Is that like mold and stuff? Like from the uh, article? There's another banana. See, it looks like a key. <laughs> oh, is this a pear? <laughs> it even that's funny so we can unlock <laughs> we got fruit keys what is for this 
Bet something's under that stack. So there's a little translation on this uh, translation issue, but I think I get just a bit. So somebody killed Sarah. They were drunk and they need to throw away the body. And then they're talking about a right that they need to find. I'm assuming that's like a spell to bring her back to life. Interesting. I don't see any key in there. Oh yeah. I bet under here there's a key. So I hope you guys are also playing something spooky. I'm always interested in uh, new stuff because I'm always building a, a pile of spooky games for the channel on the indie side and Steam. Let's see, is there, oh yeah, there is. What fruit will this be? <laughs> Another banana. Got the banana key. So yeah, let me know if you guys see something that you think you'd like to see on the channel or I would like. And uh, if I don't have it, I'll, I'll add it to my pile if it looks interesting. I'm assuming this is going to open the, uh, the door here. Okay, another... Oh my god, that's so loud. Ooh. I'm glad I turned it up. The ambient music is so low with those sound effects. I don't know what that noise was when we came in the last loop. That, that gave me instant cold chills. Hello? Stop whispering at me. Oh, we got ourselves a candle. It's gonna be dark somewhere, probably in that room. Okay, nothing. That looks the same. Ooh, that is real dark, I assume. Why can't we just use the lighter? Okay, is there a key here I'm not seeing? I'm looking. I want to think there is, but maybe not. Is that one of the crates? I doubt it's under it. I would think it's here. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it doesn't appear until we, uh, I'll read this later. I just want to make sure we cover everything. I doubt those are keys. There we go. Bam. Oh, let's get to the note. That candle's going to burn very quickly. Oh, this is very disturbing. So he performed the ceremony and she came back to life. And then he says he will want something in return. I'm, I'm thinking the demon, the entity, it's usually a demon. And she killed their daughter and then committed suicide. So she came back to life, killed the daughter and then killed herself again. How weird. Ooh, very spooky. Let's just take a quick meander. I don't have a light source anymore. Oh, that that's what the key's for. Oh my God. Well, hello there, beautiful. I bet that is he. Oh, that's so creepy. Little blood mark towards ya. Oh my God, that scared me. All right, there's gonna be a key here. What fruit is this? I think it's the banana. Let's eat you. eat both of them and I eat the no you know what I bet it'll let me eat it and then I'll lose the key I don't want to do that the way this game is a little janky otherwise it's it's spooky let's just see if there's anything else so that's the entity Ooh. 
It's very spooky. Hello, demon. Now, I wonder the character that I'm playing, I wonder if I'm the one that did the ceremony. Usually that's how, well, it did say in investigating the murders. All right, the banana. Yep, the banana opened the door. Ooh, we got hell lights. I like the PT loop. Is there going to be a key over here? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, there was. I barely saw it. I wonder if there's another candle. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's another candle. I probably don't need it. So every loop, you lose your... Um... It looks the same. Very creepy, though. You lose your inventory. That's one that I think that was the last thing I was working on when I was fiddling with game development was persistent items. So when you load into a different area, you know, let's say you have a house and you, you want the character to go into the house and you load into a different zone and then you come back out of the house. The, uh, the items in my inventory, I was trying to figure out how to save that for the player. Then I realized the amount of coding I still needed to memorize was uh, a little much for me. We'll turn you on. That's a blood mark, isn't it? I think it is. Oh, yeah. Some more delicious fruits. Good. That was scary. The sounds are getting me. They're so much more elevated than the ambience. Oh. Okay. Let's run over here. I don't like running normally. Gotta be this door. Well, hello, Mr. Demons. What are you pointing at? A key? Oh, that was spooky. This is our new house. Do not come and visit us with a question mark. <laughs> Okay, so this kind of wraps up the Wilson case. The father the, um, of the Wilson family is saying that he still haunts him. He can't take it anymore. And then it's followed by January 3rd. That's actually my birthday. It's kind of creepy. The case is closed. It turned out, according to the police, that the father killed the wife and daughter and then hanged himself. According to what we've read, the demon was tormenting him so much he hung himself. The demon probably possessed the girl. It's so weird, though. It killed the daughter and then killed re-killed herself. I've never heard of that before. I would think the entity would want to play in the wife for a while. Okay, yeah, I got a key. What was it? Another banana? That's our key. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to... You know what we should do is replay the game after this and eat one of the keys to see if it screws you over. <laughs> if it's coded where it really thinks it's fruit. So will the key work here or is it the exit door? Okay. Oh, I saw that again. It's either a glitch or uh, something passes through me. That flicker, I don't know if you guys saw that. It looked like there was an object that went through me. Creepy. I don't like how quick the candles go out though. All right, we're gonna go in the blood trail. I forgot what loop this is. Oh, is it normal or uh, is it just a tease? I like this. I like the looping. Yeah, that does look different. 
where it doesn't look like a hallway with um, a dark pit at the end. It does look different. Look, it's better. Look, it's normal. Okay, those are empty. Oh, I can zoom. I didn't even think about that. Right click does zoom. The radio's gone. Oh, here it is. I don't know if that's copyrighted, but we'll we'll skip it. I know what that is. That's that typical horror song. Is that tiptoesing through the daisies? Isn't that what they call it? See, it did it again. It's got to be a glitch. Because it does it like every time you click that door once. Okay. Okay, guys. So that was House of Number 76 demo for the PC. Don't forget, down below in the description, I leave a nice convenient link for you guys if you want to try it out for yourselves. I should, um, not just on the full game, because I will play the full game, actually. This did look interesting. I'll leave a link to both this demo and the full game. You guys can try either of them out for yourselves. Maybe there's another ending. I don't think so, though. I think it was a pretty linear ending for this demo. But yeah, I think overall, I enjoyed myself the fruit key thing was kind of funny it was just the developer either they left it in there intentionally or they forgot to code that completely you picked up the key and they they coded the door so it chose like all right if player has the key open door they did that coding but they didn't code the inventory or put the proper icon it was really funny you know what actually let's go back in the game i want to see if i can eat a key and it screws me over that'll be funny all right Hold on a second. Okay, so that is locked. So this is the third loop. I think it's in the top drawer. Remember, I couldn't see it. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to get it. It's clearly a key. It's not a banana. And it's a banana. Now this will unlock this door. So let's see. Because I think you can... <laughs> you ate it. So it is not in our inventory. Let's see. Yeah, we're screwed. Let's check the other doors just in case I'm crazy. But I think it was for the... Uh... <laughs> that is hilarious. So don't eat your keys, people. Okay, so that was a, a pretty funny test. So yeah, they either did that deliberately or just forgot completely to program. I wonder if anybody in the comments had mentioned that. Why is the key a fruit? Why can I eat it and then I can't go anywhere? <laughs> Besides that, uh, it was... It was a good game. I really, it ran well. I'm surprised how well it ran. I didn't have to do any tweaking. What I think doesn't matter. Satan. What do you think, buddy? Oh, no, 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 Balamore. We got to do the review first. Oh, boy. All right. Let us begin. Okay, okay. The part of the LP where Satan himself does the big review. On a scale one to 10 game developers and new people, if you get a 4.0 or below, you go right to hell along with everybody that helped you and the game itself. And of course, most importantly, all of your delicious souls. Anything above a four, you get to live until he deems it time. Let's see how you did. Okay, house of number 76. I give it a review score of 4.5. That's a four and a half out of 10. Balamore. Oh good, you gave him a chance. Well, we haven't played the full game, and since you're gonna play, I watched you download it, boy. 
So your little meat puppet Christian butt cheeks are gonna play the full game? <laughs> I can't wait to see how many keys you can eat in that one. Oh, don't be so, so judgmental. I pick, I pick. But yeah, it was a short indie horror game, so we can't give it a super high score anyways. It ran very well. There was lots of blood, and most importantly, even though... You did not die, Balamore. That is so important to me. But there was a demonic entity, and oh, I like that. So that was the saving grace. There was blood, demonic entities, the story of murder. I liked it. Okay, so it's got some promise. Yeah, it's got some... You're right. I mean, the keys being fruit and you can eat them was kind of a funny bug. It, it gave it a little... Uh, what, what's the word I'm thinking of? It gave it its own charm. Yeah, it did. It really did. <laughs> You Balamore, your opinions. Only my opinion matters, boy. Man, why are your panties always in a twist? You get so defensive. How dare <laughs> Yeah, they kind of are. Let me let me unwrinkle the G-string I'm wearing. There you go. Well, I actually do look forward to the game. I want to see if that's still in there or if it's just a big buggy mess. It ran good, though. I mean, that, that was impressive. I was not expecting that. Anything else you want to say about the game? How long do they have to live? Well, we got. they're going to just be able to live till we play the full game. On a 4.5, they die tomorrow. Oh. So they're safe till we play. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, game developer, you heard him. Hope the full game's good. Uh, don't hold your breath, Balamore. Well, I've got high hopes. I don't really care how you feel. I'll be taking them to hell real quick. All right, well, until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay as much as me. I really did like this game. It had a charm. It really did. Come up with your own words, Balamore. I said charm. Until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. You, Balamore. <laughs> until next time, as as always, later.